hello guys and welcome back to my channel um, and thank you so much those who have subscribed we have hit the 1000 subscribers and then now the goal is to reach 2000 subscribers so guys let's continue to subscribe i'm so so grateful to you guys who've been following this channel for quite some time and those who have joined thank you so much so today guys i'm going to share with you a um, few buzzeries um, for south africans let's get on it all right um so the first one um, is the net bank external bursary program uh, very very interesting program um so if you can check here so the net bank external bursary like it's aimed to find academic deserving students because as you know that in terms of bursaries is for deserving students who do not have the financial means to study full time um so meaning that you need to be in need of financial assistance so the criteria for this bursary for selection you will only be considered for south african citizens and you must have proven financial need determined by household income you must have obtained the following minimum academic results so mean an average of 65 percent in the first year that you are applying for the bursary i.e in grade 12 or at university so you should have an average guys of 65 percent an average of 65 percent if you offer the required subjects aligned to the degree you plan to study at a university so meaning that if um at your university of choice they want 60 percent so meaning that you should have 65 percent like you should be above the average requirement and then um we will not consider applicants who completed their grade 12 for sensitive period mathematical literacy so if you have done mathematical literacy unfortunately you won't be considered for this bursary and you must have obtained admission to south african public university or university of technology for undergraduate qualification you plan to study so you should have already applied right and so about documents that you're going to need for this application certified copy of your south african identity card you must uh your most recent academic transcript yes academic grade 11 final results as well as your mid-year result if you are currently in grade 12 then you're gonna need that grade 12 final result as well as your mid-year result if you are currently at your first year university so if you're in university you will need your 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 results your last academic year result as well as your current mid-year result if you're currently in your second or third year university right so the financial check affidavit must be signed by your parents or guardians that's if you are a minor and you the buzzer applicant right so download the affidavit here so it's you're gonna download it here like clicking um you know, so that you are able to complete so this is the financial check concerning indemnity so it must be completed here so you're gonna read uh, more on that and then um so we're going back and then all uh, right okay all right and then so the screening process will only consider buzzer application submitted online so it's an online application and then um, incomplete bursary will be rejected so make sure that you complete everything and the required supporting documents will shortlist that applicants so your parents or legal guardians or income earning so if you're shortlisted they're gonna need these documents a return consent that they understand that personal information will be requested and given third parties completed um, income and expenditures certified copies of the following documents your identity documents most of them pay slips so that's gonna need that in terms of determine that financial need and post a past three months bank statement all right so if you want to if you have after you have read everything i'm gonna put the link on the description box where you, you're gonna read more and then so that you can just go straight to there to this um link and then apply so you're gonna click the apply um it's gonna take you here buzzery and then you start and then you're gonna read and read introduction next the explaining things there and then tell us about yourself and then you're gonna start giving your name your emails and then continue with that that's the application all right so let's um close this one uh, closed and then now the second one it's um the this si and csir interbursary support program so this is for students um, um approved for registering for full-time studies at a staffing public university we intend to register or are registered for the following degree and honors or fourth year engineering or postgraduate diploma master's or doctoral degrees so unfortunately this one is not for undergrad the thermal research focus area for the bazaar are registered in the following area so they have a, a focus area which are outlined here your aerospace your composites your health indigenous knowledge and for honors these are the program that they are funding and then honors degrees um is hundred thousand masters hundred and twenty thousand doctoral 140. the call for application is open so it's open for 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 application and then you can even click here for more information on the on the call and also the eligibility um requirement 
that is there. So you're gonna open this one and read more as to what is it that you need to do in order for you to qualify for the bursary. I'm also going to put a link so where you can be able to click on it. So the call for application, this is where they explain a lot of things. What you must do, please click here on how to apply. You're gonna click on this part and then it's gonna take you straight um, to, to the portal. Um, which you will need to use in terms of application. So you see how to apply continue application, track application. So so that's um, what the DSI and CSR Bursary is all about. Um, so that's where you're gonna get more information. So if you are planning to do this program, your engineering related, electrical, computer, electronic, and all those things, just make sure that you check out this Bursary if you want to do your postgraduate, right? And then so we are done with this one, the DCSR. And then Cosal Natal, Invisible Cosal Natal is also um, having a bursary. There it is. I'm going to put a link also so that you can be able to to, to, to get this form. And then um, so you're going to complete it. And then um, complete if you are registered as a full time study case in 2021, uh, that you do not have NSFAS funding. So you're going to confirm all these things that your host parents' gross income is not this much. And then um, present date is 31 of August. Even the previous processories are 31st of August. So um, so you must complete the forms by student to be submitted to the financial aid or advisor. So these are the colleges and also the, the people that you must submit to. And then um, student funding administration. So so that's that's what this person is all about. Um, so you're going to read more also on that. And then um, now moving on. The close year again, um, budget leadership program scholarship. This is for students who are studying at the University of Cape Town, unfortunately, or fortunately, yes. Um, so it's a it's a program um, that is a two year undergraduate scholarship award, really aimed at registered UCT undergraduate students who have two years remaining um, of their undergrad degree. So you can apply for this um, program also. It's closing on the first of um, August 2021, and then so you are just going. I'm gonna put the link also here. And then you just want to put your information. For example, this is my email, which you can contact me if you need assistance. And then your email address, and then um, you're gonna do next, and then there, 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 there. Then continue with application. So I'm gonna put there the link also, guys. Don't worry. And then um, the other one um, is the program by the company called Hash. Um, so there are quite a number of buzzers here for different programs. If you can see here, um, you have your buzzer for electrical engineering, um, chemical engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering. So, so you can decide here which one is it that you want to do. Let's say, for example, it's um, civil engineering. So we are going to click on that one. And then, so they are going to explain the outcome of your application provided by the 30th of September. Who are we they looking for? Bachelor of Science in Engineering and a Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, yes. So as a successful candidate, you will be encouraged to be the best version of yourself and then have the benefit of formal and informal mentorship and, you know, minimum requirements. Important, you must be a South African citizen and then you must be studying or intend to study a BSc in Civil Engineering at the recognized Technical Institution in South Africa. Tertiary students must have maintained an average of academic achievement of 7%. Grade 12 students must have made an average academic of 90%. Man, man, they need excellence in here. And then, uh, so you must be in position and attach back copies of the written form the following your SAID card, your grade 12 results, and grade 12 results, written proof of acceptance from a recognized institution. So you should also provide that complete transcript of tertiary academic record and also a comprehensive CV. What do the hash um, bazaar offer you? Tuition. Allowances, so they're going to give you money, accommodation, pay, vacation work. So when schools have closed, you'll be expected to go to the company and uh, whichever site so that you can do vacation work. And then um, closing date, date one of August also, outcome 30 September. Okay, so so you'll read more on the program and then so you're just going to do apply now, click in here, apply now, and then you're going to click. And then so it's going to take you to, to uh, uh, this page um, wherein you will have to register for the portal. So you indicate your email address and your password, and then you sign, you, you create an account, sorry, first, and then you register with them. Thereafter, you'll be able to log in and then complete the application. All right. Next, Sunlam. 
there we have Sandam. Um, I'm gonna put um, the link on the description box for you to click in quickly. So Sandam is also offering bursaries, guys, um, for actual bursaries. And then who are we? There they are. You will read who they are, <laughs> Sandlam. And then calling all matriculants. So we are well um, for 100 years. And they are calling for matriculants to apply for the bursary. Actual bursary is part of our commitment to the trade is organized. That for one to be a master in their trade, support is a key ingredient. So that's why they are offering this bursary for 2022. So they are looking for South African citizens, um, with at maths, good at maths, enjoy a good challenging or solving difficult programs. So if you are the one, then this bursary is for you. So what they, they cover? They cover your offer your tuition and accommodation fees, general allowance, books and pocket money. Mm, nice. And then mentoring and academic support from Sunlam, vacation work. Um, so you'll have a space to do that. And then also um, your continued support and payment towards actual and board exam. Wow, this is great. So what do we require? So academic results and final 2020 grade 11 results, grade 12 meet. So if you're in grade 12, they're going to need your results. And also the NBT, the national, the national benchmarking test, yes. They're going to need those results if you've done their final grade results may be used as a determining factor so for this one guys you need to work very hard so how to apply um they're gonna need a comprehensive cv as indicated certified copy of your id and then your grade 11 result grade 12 need motivation of support closing date 31 august so you're just gonna go and click here and then start application apply now and then it's gonna take you to another page uh come on come on come on come on it's not opening oh it could not okay oh yes oh okay what what is wrong with this thing all right let's see apply apply now all right okay taking us to that portal yes so it's gonna be the the the, the issue of creating that um account all right so it's the same as the h1 it's the same you just have to create an account and then continue the application all right, moving on, um, we have the online bazaar application for the Vodacom. Vodacom is also having external bazaaries. So you're gonna get the link also, and then you're gonna click on application, and then you will have to register, right? Okay, so suppose, uh, let's see, I can't remember if I had registered for this one, but if I did not register, it's fine. It means you'll have to see what you guys can do. All right, so this one seems not to be to be working well. All right, so but then you can still register here. Click on register, and then you will be able to start with your application. All right, um, let's just move to this next one here, the old mutual bursary. Um, so it's for accounting bursary and also actual science bursary, depending on what you want to study. And then so you can also see here, you can click on more details on that bursary um, for accounting. And then um, you can see that what is a chartered accountant, what the chartered accountant do. So they're also giving a brief explanation how to qualify you need a metric certificate with at least 70%. Average guys, wow, average, 70%. The level six for all subjects into the mathematics, not mass literacy in English. So mass literacy, unfortunately you don't qualify. You also need to commit to our CA training program after which you will work for all the mutual for a specific period. So you should need to commit that you're gonna serve Old Mutual after they funded you. Bazaar covers your full tuition piece at, at University of Cape Town, um, University of Stellenbosch, the University of the Bed, Bethesda, and the University of Pretoria. Right. So these are the universities that you you should be willing to study at. You need to qualify for this bursary. And residence fees and one um, annual return flight home for students who are not studying in their hometown. So they also flight, vacation work, just the same as the previous one. And then a higher, the higher the quality of your degree the more incentive will be offered to you mm. so this one means that you just have to work very hard so that you know when you cover cum laude they're going to pay you more and there's also book allowance and all mutual support you by offering guaranteed employment after university one on one mentoring by, by an experienced and qualified chartered accountant which is very good and in-house additional program exposing you to professional development across all areas and the opportunity to shape south africa's future with industry leaders this is great so the old mutual buzzer guys wow it's so nice and then so you're gonna click on apply there um and then so it's trying to still trying to apply application information um what is your population group so yeah you're just going to to click i'm an african or what i'm white or indian or whatever 
um, and then which province are you from? So you are going to explain those things. I mean, Limpompo, for example, and then yes, specify your gender and all those things. So you can even skip the questions. Um, skip. And then yeah, so 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 they just various questions that that's what you gotta do for you to to register and then start um, applying, and then um so so those are the bursaries that are available, um guys, and then I hope that you are going to apply um, as soon as possible because you see that they are closing on the first of July of August 2021. So make sure that you apply for these bursaries. So just read through um the information so that you know um, actually well, what is it that is expected and which programs are they funding, right? Um, so you can also check out some of my videos that I've done, also bursaries and scholarships, and also the top tips that I've also given in here. So all the best in your applications and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's make it grow. Let's reach so many people all over the world. All right, so all the best. Talk to you very soon.